So hello everybody, in today's video I am going to create a export to Excel button and export to CSV button in Power BI so you can download the data to Excel or CSV. Let's get started. Okay, so in order to be able to do this, you need to have Power BI Desktop April 2021 update. If you don't have it, it won't work. So make sure you have it. Why? We need to have the integration with Flow. You see it here. Now, a lot of people ask me when I said I wanted to do Excel, uh, export to Excel button, why would you do that? Why would you export data to Excel once you have it in Power BI? Well, there are different reasons. One reason is, for example, you have data in an external uh, service, you analyze the data in Power BI, and then you want to move that data, for example, billing data into Dynamics 365 to build your customers or to whatever ERP system you have. So that would be one reason to download the data in order then to put it up again. Now with Flow, we will be able to do it all the way. So it's actually quite neat. Another thing would be version handling of your clean data. So you just dump files in case your source system does not handle version handling. So there are different scenarios where it does, has nothing to do with data analysis. It's just to move the data, the clean data, right? Um, so that's what we're going to do. Let's start with CSV. That is the one that I was interested in and that I wanted to build first, because again, I'm not exporting to Excel to analyze, just to get the data out that is clean. So we're going to, first you go into the uh, Visual app, app Store, and then you search for Flow. You'll find it for Flow, even if, though it's called a Power Automate. You add it, and then I have pinned it into my visualization pin. I definitely want to have it. I tried to do this pinning yesterday. It didn't work, but it's working today. So if it didn't work yesterday for you, try it again. How do you do that? You click, click into the uh, visualization, and then they did a fabulous work telling you what to do in here. I mean, the Power Automate the team, beautiful software, produces beautiful, beautiful software, really neat. And what we're going to do is we're going to export the data on this chart, sales by week number, as an example. So the first thing is it tells you is add the data. So sales, put in sales. Whatever fields you put in here is the ones that you can actually do something later on, right? And then you have year month. Uh, I think is like that. Now we have our data, it says here, set up your flow. So select edit in the dot, dot, dot. Thank for that because I wouldn't have found it ever. And then it takes you to the entire flow experience in Power BI. That is so neat, so beautifully integrated. Now I already have the two flows created, but obviously I'm gonna show you how to create them. So let's start from the beginning. I'm going to reuse one of these templates and uh, Modify it. it. It is a lot faster actually than starting from scratch. So here we have, we're going to get rid of these, update a row, and to export to CSV, we're going to use compose data operation. And then here on the input, we're going to put Power BI data, right? Next step, it is create CSV. Uh, CSV table you see here from data operation and this is going to be composed of whatever data was added into this step okay and then the next step is going to actually create a file on SharePoint create a file in SharePoint so this is on my going to choose YouTube, choose the folder vaccine tracker, file name. The file name is going to be UTC now. Now I, I wasn't able to do this in here. As you can see, it, it doesn't really pick. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's try it. CSV. You need to add the extension of the file in order for this to work. Um, this is supposed to give you the timestamp now. As you can see, it doesn't recognize it. Maybe it is a limitation for this embedded experience for now. So let's 
So, so the output is from the CSV, save. It is saving, you can see here. And then you have to go back and you have to apply it. Make sure you apply it. And then you see this, you successfully apply bum 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 to your button. Otherwise, if you go out, you will see that you don't have a button. You still have this list experience. So go back. Here is our beautiful button. Let's modify it a little bit. You have the, the formatting options that I would expect. Uh, export to CSV. We're going to put a little bit bigger and then we want to have a green field, green pastures. There you have it. So this is our thing. So how do you trigger this? On Power BI Desktop, as always, control click. And one of the things that you need to be aware of that it says that it was triggered. It doesn't mean that it was successful. You need to go and check if it was successful. This is a little bit of a pity. There are ways around it though, as always. So let me show you. So this is the one that we created. You can click on it and then you'll see here, oh, it failed probably because of the UTC. Exactly, exactly, yeah, okay. So. Let me show you. Let's forget for now about the name, or maybe I should show you in flow. Let me show you in flow. So I'm now in flow instead, right? And this is the yeah, the same flow that we were trying to create. You will see the difference now with the UTC thing. Um, it is on create file. You see that? This is the one that doesn't come up. So UTC now. Okay, so that's what we need. And then sales.csv, save. And then we go here automatically, we run the fail one, test, you cross your fingers, and let's see if this works. It should work now. So you see it was successful, it was a UTC thing. And if we look in here, it is 11.43. A few seconds ago, this is the one. And here you have the data. So now every time you click on it, it will dump your data. Okay, so really, really neat. Now let's do the... Uh, and obviously your flow, make sure that you share your flow with whoever needs it. Don't forget that. And uh, if you go here to your flow, it is available here, so you can reuse it for anything, right? So let's go back and we're going to do a export to Excel. So that was a little bit more complex, to be honest. Um, so we're going to do a new button, same drill here, sales month, we put sales in here. Uh, we go to edit. And now you might be tempted, I definitely was tempted to do this, to pick the ease for creating the Excel. I thought it was the first one, it should be export to Excel. No, in, this is not. This will update existing data and that's not what we want. What I want is just to dump data in there. Okay, so we're going to delete this one. And I'm going here to put uh, list Add rows, I think it's called. Add a row into a table. Same thing. You put your SharePoint, you put your library, which is the vaccine tracker, you put your file. Here's the thing in order for this Excel export to Excel work, First, you need to have the Excel file already created. So what I did it was that dumped the visualization that I want to get the data from to CSV, convert it to a Excel file. Then the data needs to be in a table. So you need to put it on a table. So here you have the data CSV week, which was a dump. And here you see the table. You need to have the data into a table so you can grab it. Okay. And once you grab it, 
Then you just bind Power BI sales is sales. And then the, the thing is, it's creating a loop, so it's going to do it for every new row. So it's not going to just update one row, but multiple rows. Power BI sales. I don't know why they have to put Power BI in front of everything, to be honest. Year month, okay. It's nice if they get rid of this Power BI thingy. Save. And then again, remember you have to go back and you have to apply in order for it to work. And then you go back and then you'll get a beautiful button. You see it here. And then you do export to Excel. And we want to have greener than green. How about that one? A little bit bigger. And now to be able to trigger it, you control click. Again, it says that it got triggered, but it's not saying that it was successful. To know if it was successful, you have to go to the actual flow and check. I'll show you. So this is the second one. This is the one to Excel. And then you will see here it's still running. But here you will see if it actually failed or not. One of the things that you can do in order to check that this actually went through is you could say, send me an email, right? Or send me a, a notification on the mobile, like, ding, it got. But I don't like that kind of solutions because I already have enough notifications. I don't need any more. So uh, yeah, not too happy about that. I think the flow should be like, maybe like pop green to say it, it was okay or just for a second like bl you know blink green or blink uh, red so let's look at our excel file and see if it got updated so the excel file is in here and there you go so now one thing that you need to be aware of these add rows to tables it will literally add rows to tables. So for example, here you can see that there were blanks. It will add to it at the end. And anytime you click on something, it will add more rows. So it's not dumping and rewriting. You need to change either the trigger or the flow. You can, dump, you, you can for example, delete the contents of the Excel before you enter new data. So there are ways to do it. But just that specific flow will add rows. <laughs> just so you're aware of if you want to if you have a base table if you want to update you say update one so another thing that you want to be make you aware of which is actually quite cool is that you can filter the data so now i'm filtering by this product this is getting filtered by the product if i click on export to excel only the filter rows will be added to the file so that is actually quite neat. Also, if the thing is running, obviously you won't be able to run it more than once. So you need to be aware of that. Um, so maybe you should have like a running, I'm running, don't click on me again. So it will be a, a nice to get a little bit of feedback, more feedback from the button of what is going on in the background so you don't get confused by it. Um, so for example, this, of clicking and not be able to do anything is is not a very intuitive. If you have access to the flow, you're good to go, but otherwise it can be a little bit daunting. Okay, so what type of flows are you planning to build? This is so, so cool. I will do more tutorials as I start building flows for customers and really, really looking forward to this. This is so, so neat. The flow team does such a marvelous job when creating you know user interfaces, it's just wonderful. So I will see you again on Friday with a cool Dax Friday's video, I think. So until then, as always, take care. Bye-bye.